This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In the first episode of Undrop Raid that I ever did, I was actually killing the Calphite Queen in hopes of getting the Dragon Chain Body. But recently, the drop table of the Calphite Queen has been updated with one additional rare item, and that is the Dragon Pickaxe at a drop of 1 in 400. Before this update to the drop table, the only way of getting a Dragon Pickaxe was to go into the wilderness and kill Venonaris, Callisto or Vetion, which was really risky. If you weren't Hardcore Iron Man, this was an extremely hard item to get, but now you can just go to Calphite Queen and get it a safe way. Because of that change, we're going to be revisiting the boss and go for the Dragon Pickaxe. The one thing we need to get done before we get into the grind is the Desert Easy, Medium and Hard Diary for the permanent rope shortcut at the Calphite Queen. This will save me two inventory slots every single trip. It would have been nice to be able to complete the Elite Diary, but the requirements are a bit too steep for that. If I can get a hit in right here, there we go. That is the hard, easy and medium diary for a rune square shield as well, completed and we can now actually get into KQ. So now with the diary completed, I used the rope here one time and this will stay here forever, before you had to bring one every single time for this cave and also one at the Calphite Queen Lair itself, but after I put this one there, I won't have to bring another one. And that is the second rope added, it is now time to gear up. This right here is going to be my gear for this grind and this video overall. This is all worth together 1.35 billion GP. So you could definitely say it's a pretty high tier setup, so this should be fun to use. Let's see what the first loot of the video is going to be. Cactus Spine and Prayer Potions, I'll take it. Alright, so we're about to be done with the first trip here, and this is going to be my third kill of the trip. And now, as you can see, I do have to flinch this. Ideally, I would not want to spend time doing this, because it's a very slow process. But uh, if I'm very close to a kill, and I don't have any food left, I might as well do it for the last one. I absolutely love these new Magebook filters, look how massive my vengeance is. It's so easy to click, I don't have to look for it anywhere. I just go to my spellbook and I just click in the middle somewhere. After this one I guess we can kind of estimate how long this is going to take, because we are hitting 10 kill count and this took me roughly 30 minutes, so I'm getting about 20 kills an hour, meaning this grind could take me up to 20 hours to complete. Now I want to take a second to talk about the weapon I'm using for this grind, because this is such a fun weapon to use at this boss. It has the highest accuracy in the game towards the Calphite Queen, and on top of that, it also actually has a 1 in 50 chance of tripling your damage. Yeah, this can hit up to like 160 plus if it max hits on the 1 in 50 hit on the Calphite Queen. You can get some absolutely insane hits on this boss and I would love to get some and show you guys in this video. Before we keep working towards that dragon pickaxe, this video is sponsored by Raycon. At this point, I'm sure you know about the Raycon earbuds. They are the absolute best quality product in terms of sound and affordability, starting at just half the price of other premium audio brands. I work out at home around 4-6 to six days a week, and the Raycon earbuds are just a must for me to get through my routine. The experience just becomes so much more enjoyable with great sounding music. They're also noise isolated, so I can really get into my own world for a while. The earbuds are water and sweat resistant, which is really great if you work up a sweat easily, and they fit extremely well in your ears with their custom gel tips. I've actually never had them fall out even when doing intense jumping exercises. There is a reason why Raycon has over 50,000 five-star reviews, plus they are so confident in their earbuds that they offer a money-back guarantee if you're not happy. So if you're ready to buy something small with a big impact, click on the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash alonescape for 15% off your purchase. This of course is the best way to support both me and get a great product at the same time. Thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video. This is really a great product that I can vouch for, so I'm happy to be sponsored by them. But let's get back into the video. Oh, I think we got a hit. 78. That is not very high, but you can see in the chat, you get that message every time. Oh, we hit over 100 damage. This is getting crazy. Oh, ironically, <laughs> I think that is the best drop we've got so far. 150k, I'll take it. Oh, oh, 135. I saw like the 600 XP drop. That was insane. 
Oh my god, we got a dragon two-handed sword. Oh, that's one in 256 drop rates. Actually pretty rare. Not worth a lot though. This is going to be the dumbest thing I've ever done. There's no minions to block it. I really want to kill it. I have to walk under it the entire time and not let it hit me. I can do it. I can do it. No way. Oh, I tanked it. I tanked it. No way. No! No! I should have just headed out. What am I doing? Getting our teeth sunk a bit more into the grind. This is 50 KC done. And uh, we have not seen any higher chits in hit, by the way, than 135, which we saw before. And on top of that, the only rare item, of course, so far is the Dragon Two-Hander. You know, I was just minding my own business, chilling, killing some KQ, like two kills a trip. And I was absolutely called out on stream. I will say, though, have you fucking fixed your house yet? You're pissing me off alone. Love your content, but what the fuck is up with your house? <laughs> Honestly, I have everything I need right here. I have a bed that's actually a pretty big bed. I have a dummy right here. It's uh, not set up yet. I'm going to get to that sometime in the future when I need to work out. And then I have an altar. I have the pool. I have a teleporter carrier. What more do I really need? But I will give it to her. My house does give off the vibe of an 18-year-old guy apartment who only eats ramen every single day while going to school. So you know what? For you guys, I'm going to give it a bit of an overhaul. 120 million GP later, everything is set up. After this kill, we are hitting the first bigger milestone of the grind, the one quarter away to the finish line, and that is the 100 KQ done. And this is the loot. The average drop has been worth around 38,000 GP so far, so the money here is definitely not great. Oh, we got a KQ head tattered. Why does it say tattered? I don't think that's normal. Is that like some special version of the KQ head that you can get? Let me look this up, actually. As it turns out, the KQ head tattered version is a guaranteed drop at 256 KC, which is double the drop rate of the normal KQ head. The reason why is they wanted to put in a failsafe so you would not get super dry on this item for the Desert Elite Diary, where you need to speak to the KQ head in your player-owned house. So with this tattered head, you can actually put this in your house, and I'm actually going to do that right now. Now the thing is, I do already have two KQ heads, but uh, I guess these can stay in the bank as trophies, and I'll actually use this one for its only purpose, basically. Let's go ahead and build it. KQ head, we have everything. Two gold leaves, mahogany planks, stuffed KQ head, which costs 50k, by the way. Oh, I get some experience as well. Uh, sure, I'll definitely take that. 200 and every skill and 1.1k construction. And oh my, that is... That is massive. That's like the size of me. Oh, the dragon shame body coming in. One of the most iconic items in old school runescape, at least in my opinion, is now picked up from the ground. Goddamn. If you could choose between this Torva plate body or this dragon chain body just for the looks, what would you pick? For me, it's the easiest pick ever. The dragon chain body is so nice. Ooh, uh, that is the actual KQ head, a naughty tattered version. One in 128 drop rates, as I stated before, but I uh, can't really do much with it. It's just one to the collection. Oh, no. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That didn't happen. No. If you can't see me, that didn't happen. It did not. Hey, second dragon chain body. It's so sad that these are 150k. They used to be worth so much back in the days. We finally got one. First elite clue scroll of the grind. These are actually one in 100. So I anticipated to get one way earlier than I did now. We are on 183 KC for the first one. Oh my god! Yes! We got the dragon pickaxe! Yes! 197 KC! I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am so extremely happy to see this because this boss is a pain in the A. Is what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going- You know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's so annoying to kill. Now, from this grind, we only got one elite clue scroll, which we actually got pretty close to the end, as you guys saw. So, let's go ahead and open that and see what we get from this one. Ooh, a royal crown, two dragonstone bracelets, rune crossbow. 
That can't be worth a lot. 137k, but I'll take the collection log item. Again, thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video. If you want to check it out, remember to click the link in the description to get 15% off and also support my channel at the same time. These sponsorships allow me to do what I do, so that is greatly appreciated. But until next time, guys, take care. Last video, of course, we had a giveaway of 13.5 million from the Grotesque Guardians, and the winner of that is Eston Luke Aquashock. Good video, I never did Guardians yet. Congrats to you. And of course, here's the trade of the 13.5 million. Thank you all so much for the support, and hope you enjoy the 13.5 million GP.